Okay, on this problem, we have a right triangle given to us. We know an angle, a side length, and we're looking for the hypotenuse based on this information. So um, it's important to note, we're focused on this angle down here. We could find the other angle, but we don't need to. All right, so with that, um, let's go ahead and label our sides. This is gonna be our hypotenuse because it's opposite where the right angle is located. And the 12 is gonna be an adjacent side to the angle, 53 degrees. All right, so what I wanna do next is I'm gonna look at SOHCAHTOA. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So with ours, we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse that we wanna get involved with this. So the adjacent and hypotenuse comes back to cosine. So let's set this up that the cosine of 53 degrees is gonna be the adjacent 12 divided by the hypotenuse, which ours is indicated with an X. We just need to solve this equation down and we'll have our hypotenuse value X. So to do so, we can't solve for X while it's in the denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by X. This will give us X multiplied by the cosine of 53 degrees equals 12. X is being multiplied. So to counteract that, let's use division. We'll divide both sides by this cosine of 53 degrees. As these get to cancel out and make a one, we get X is 12 divided by cosine of 53 degrees. We can get an approximation for this by putting this into our calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode because it's 53 degrees. So 12 divided by cosine of 53, I got this to be 19.94 approximately. Now, if you're rounding to the nearest whole unit, uh, you go up to 20, obviously. All right, so if you don't get a picture given to you, draw a picture, label the sides, it really helps. And then make sure you get down Sokotoa that you're connecting together the right sides, whatever's given to you. All right, hope this helps out. You can do it.